Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new tank, the WZ11158, the Chinese Premium Tier 10 vehicle. Now, stat wise, we're going to look at the stats straight away. Uh, 2,000 hit points. Um, pretty average. Uh, armor wise, the turret is very, very nice. 300 millimeters of turret armor with 140 on the on the hull. So not so good hull armor, but the turret is where these Chinese tanks normally shine is, is that turret. DPM 2601, which is not bad for a heavy tank. And that's a 10.61 second reload. Uh, penetration, I think, I mean... 260 on your AP, which is kind of average, lowish for a tier 10 heavy tank. I mean, it's it plays like an IS-4. It's like an IS-4. IS-4's actually got 258, but the heat pen, I think, is pretty low at 303, whereas the IS-4 has 340. So the heat is pretty low. The heat pen is pretty low. Uh, HG pen, 65 and it has a 460 alpha shot, 390 on your heat, and 600 on your HE. Aim time, pretty average for a heavy 4, uh, 4.0, and the dispersion, again, not the best, not the worst, at three, 0.353, and it has 7 degrees of gun depression. Um, the speed is very nice, again, just like the IS-4, it goes 50, kilo 50 kilometers an hour. So, I'm comparing it a lot with the IS-4, because that is pretty much what this tank uh, is it's basically a chinese high is4 version but it's it's not as good as the is4 it's not as good as the is4 at all now armor wise as i've said you the front plate the bottom plate i mean you you've got 100 220 mil which most things are going to penetrate you uh, depend on, on on how you're looking, how you're side scraping. Uh, you can get the top plate up again, 270. You can get it up to uh, uh, 200, sorry. You can get it up, obviously, the more you angle. Now, the turret, the turret's very strong, and you can see the turret. It's red AF, and it's actually 300 mil, but it's about 400 to 500 effective armor and depending on how you're looking you can actually get it that up to around a thousand plus uh, millimeters now there is hatches on top that's around 200 millimeters uh, thick um, which is quite strong for a hatch it is quite strong for a hatch so they are penable but they are going to be very very troll so the armor wise is not bad i mean people were going to People are going to penetrate you easily. Your front plate, uh, all they have to do, I mean, the top plate is quite strong, but to get around that, all they need to do is switch to Pramo, and then they're going to go through you like butter. It does have spaced armor across the side, only a little bit, so you do have that chance of, of bouncing. Um, however, the rear of your tank is, what, 77, 70 millimeters thick, 67 millimeters thick, so people are probably going to hate you. HE you no problem at all the back of your turret as well 66 millimeter thick so face tanks face tanks that is uh, don't let them get around you it's a quick tank so you sh it's going to be difficult for mediums to be able to circle you um and it's got a nice gun it does have a nice gun with that 460 alpha shot um the only problem with this tank is, is we've just seen so many heavies in the game and and at this point it's do i really want another heavy in my garage another premium heavy um being tier 10 it's yes it, in, in a way I, I want it because it's a tier 10 premium tank and i like collecting my tier 10s and at the moment there's only one tier 10 in the entire game that i'm missing and that's the badger so yes i want it just for the that fact but if i get it it's not going to be a tank that i play often it's, I'm going to play it. I don't even need to ace it because I've t I tested the tank, uh, so I've got the ace. So for me, I probably won't get it. I probably won't get it. I don't think it's worth it. Um, as most of you know by now, it is a tier 10 tank. It is a premium or it is a collectible tank, sorry. So, of course, it is in, in crates. So people are always now surprised and they moan about crates. Yes, we do moan about crates, but guys... It's a tier 10 tank. It's a tier 10 tank. If you don't want to get it in crates, don't freaking buy it. 
wait for it to come for sale. It will come for sale eventually. It will come for sale for gold. So just stop whinging. I'm, I know I'm going to get abuse for this, but just stop. I've had enough. Like, we know it's going to come in crates. We know crates are part of the game. And I've explained to all you, me and many other CCs and YouTubers have explained why Wargaming keep doing crates. Because you guys keep freaking buying them. Like, me included, I buy them. I'm not going to lie about it. People buy crates. Wargaming earn money from crates. Why wouldn't, why would they stop doing that? Why would they stop doing that? It's, it, they wouldn't. If they're earning money, then they've got every right to do it. It's a business and they're making money. Um, and there is only one way to stop Wargaming doing crates. And that is for you guys to stop buying crates that is the only way but that is not going to happen uh the funny thing is that people that always moan about the crates is the people that have just bought 20 30 40 50 crates and they didn't get the tank and um, believe it or not that is the people that moan people that spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on crates they don't win the tank and then they moan about crates yeah it, that's what happens believe it or not that is what happens um, if I'm if I'm honest, I do prefer that these tier 10 tanks are in crates because they're premium tanks. They're premium tanks in tier 10. Imagine if these all these premium tanks in tier 10 were for sale for 15 to 20,000 gold. They will sell like hotcakes, and that means you guys that are moaning about crates will then moan that the tier 10 is covered in premium tanks. Yes, that was exactly what's going to happen. So I don't mind Wargaming selling. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a community contributor. I'd be saying that if I wasn't. And what I am saying is crates are not bad. Crates are not bad. The only bad thing about the crates, which I've said over and over and over again, is how much you, you have to spend in, in order to actually get the tank, which it could be a couple of quid. I mean, it could be, I got the 30B in a, in a couple of crates uh, the, the, the second time around, um, but then I, I spent £200 in the Badger and I got nothing. My main problem with the crates is what you get in return Where if you don't get the crates. That's the only thing about, that's the only bad thing about crates is what you get in return if you don't win the tank, and that is boosters. Like, nobody wants boosters. Nobody wants boosters, nobody wants avatars, nobody wants credits, or I at least don't want credits, I've got enough credits as it is. Free XP, I don't want free XP, I've got every single tech tree tank in the game, I don't need free XP. Give me something worthwhile, give me another tank, give me a different tank that's maybe not the tank that I'm going for, but at least it's a, it's a tank and I've won something. So for me that's the only bad thing about crates, and I do apologise if... If it's you that is moaning, but it's true. It's true. Like a lot of people that moan about crates is the people that buy crates themselves. So crates out of the way, the tank. I even if this was for sale for twenty thousand gold, I I probably still wouldn't buy it. I probably still wouldn't buy it because it's just I'd rather go and play the IS4, if I'm honest. I would rather go and play the IS4. I don't think it's gonna be worth getting the crates over. Uh, but again, I say that, but if you buy two crates and you get the tank, then of course it's going to be worth it. Um, Wargaming usually do the uh, buy one, get one free crates, two for one crates, which is, what, £10 normally, something like that. Then I'm that that might be the only thing I purchase because £10 is, is nothing. I mean, I'll probably earn triple that for this video alone. So me spending on two crates or, say, one crate for the price of two... Um, you've got double the chance of getting the tank because you get an extra crate. So that's that will probably be the only thing I purchase is the two for one crate. But other than that, I'm definitely going to go stay away from the bundles or whatever the, the other crates are. I don't know if it's for money or I don't know if it's for gold. Um, most likely it will be for money because it is a tier 10 tank. The crates normally come for money. But those of you that don't want to buy crates, just wait. Just be patient, it will come back. Eventually, it will come back. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm going to, on this instant, I'm going to say stay away from the crates because it's not the best tank to put in a crate. I mean, it's 
it's an average tank. It's an okay tank. It's an okay tank. It's not bad, but it's just one of those another heavies in the game uh, where you've got the 113 Chinese tier 10, which is better than this. You've got the IS-4, which is a tech tree tank, which is better than this. You've got other tanks. I mean, the Chieftain Mark VI, that's been coming into the game regularly, and that's now that normally comes for gold. That's also better. So I would recommend staying away from the crates just because I don't think the, the tank is good enough to, to buy and to risk it. So I hope you enjoyed that little rant and moan. Uh, I'm Easy69 and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.